Hey everyone, Wanderbots here, and welcome to Haunt the House Terror Town. This is the sequel slash remake of the armor game slash congregate game made by Super Flash Brothers, and it's built from the ground up, so it's gonna be different, I think. I only played a little bit of the original one, and I've, I haven't even opened this one up. And, uh, I don't know, I guess it's kind of a puzzle platformer? We'll get into that in a bit. But, uh, I do, before we start, I do have to give the developer a lot of credit. He sent me a, uh, like, just a basic Steam key for the game, and, like, not a press release one, so I couldn't actually review it ahead of time. Realized his own mistake without me even mentioning it to him, and then he sent me a real pro promo key to install on Shell's account instead, so he could review this game ahead of time. Anyway. Alrighty then, let's get in the game. I should never give you the controller. You become Ultra Ham. Well... Sorry, it's just because you can't hear the old man talking. No, I can't. Press A. We don't need the credits ahead of time. Oh, fine. They're nice and old-timey, but still. Okay, so this seems to be largely the exact same. But let's uh, let's just skip through the tutorial, because I already know how to play. Uh, based on the Flash game. And normally I'd avoid skipping that stuff, but it was just like, press A to possess object, press B to do things. Okay, so this is different. So there's the oh, clock tower. Cute, cute little rats, they get freaked out by my presence. And apparently if I press A, I go like, woo, at the rat, rats. Anyway, mm -hmm. so there are a number of places apparently we can go. The original game just had it that you would go to a house. But it looks like there are five houses here. So if can I they like... notice you? Not inherently. So if you notice, there are five stages, uh, counting the clock tower technically. So this is one, I'm not entirely sure, I guess this is like the observatory. Or the museum. This is a museum. And if you, like, keep going to the right, you get to the next one. And the entire goal is to scare everybody out of these buildings so that you can have peace and quiet once again. So, easiest way to do things is you possess stuff and then wiggle back and forth. Now, if, uh, the tutorial guy was kind of explaining this, but I might as well just show it off while we're here. They don't seem to care. Nope. Look at his eyes. He's watching me. He knows. He uh. knows I'm a wiggly table. Now... Okay, so the meter at the bottom shows kind of my base experience. The more I, like, spook people and haunt things, the uh, more I'm going to be able to. Soap! I'm a samurai. Sword! So, I can't possess living things, so I can't possess the cat. The cat will know I'm there, but I don't think it will get freaked out by it. But the entire point, especially, like, early on, is just to, like, wiggle at people until you get the <laughs> bottom meter to fill up long enough. Come on, be the centurion. What, the samurai over here? No, no, there's a Roman soldier. Oh. I thought that was a person. Unfortunately, I can't turn around and I can't jump either. Um, okay, you freaked her out. Yeah, everybody's kind of freaked out by the moving statue, which is pretty awesome. I don't know why that guy's going up into the attic. That seems like a terrible idea. Let's be this thing. Soap! Oh. Wait, can I float? Yes, I can float. Yeah. So you can't let them upstairs. That's where you just... I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I've already scared one person out of the museum, but I'm, I'm just going to torment these children until they get the hint. <laughs> Poker face. Poker no, face. No, I think that one's actually going to get up oh, into hey, the attic. I get this now. So now that I've leveled up the bar substantially, I can spin. But so pretty much every object in the game has a unique ability. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, so... The whole unshe thing? Yeah, I can flash so the katana. Go right next to them. Uh, this guy, I don't have enough experience yet, so I can't use his ability. Can't do this one either, but we have to get this guy out of the top. Because easiest... Technically, the easiest way to do things... Oh. Wow. He's, He's not... super not suspicious of things. The clock. Clack. Uh, spin. That's... Aw, that's cute. It's like a <laughs> clock with a thermometer. But yeah, so every object has unique animations to go along with it. Most of them involve, like, moving or something, but not <gasps> all of them. The cork does, in fact, come back. That's bizarre. Okay, well, that little kid with the hat's coming upstairs. Book! Didn't you learn things in school? Haunted books are terrible for you. <laughs> I'm gonna bite your toes. I'm gonna bite your toes. Nom, 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 nom. Um, 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 um. Ha, ha. <laughs> That's right. Get out of my attic. What's this thing do? Don't oh, scare him upstairs again. Look, if I'm like directly above them, maybe they'll freak out and leave. 
I <laughs> He's just like, well, nope, not going up this ladder. I'm just gonna like wiggle at it for a bit. Yeah, samurai. Oh, it's a shame I can't murder people. But uh, oh. as the experience goes up, you get to do more actions. Well, you can't murder people because you don't want to add more ghosts to this museum. But then it would be a party. Rattle, rattle, rattle. But yeah, so as you freak people out, the atmosphere in the museum will also get like more. So originally <laughs> it was like calm, but now it's unsettling. And as the atmosphere like goes up, certain things will start happening. What's this one do? Teeter. Oh, that's cute. Uh, okay, well now you can go to this level. Eskimo! Sup! Oh, that's cool. Well, come on, the two in common one's a lot better. Except it looks like it's already moving on its own accord. Yep, I don't have to do anything to get this. Yeah, I don't actually, I can't actually possess this one. It's because, uh, someone's already in there. Oh no, someone's going upstairs and into the attic. I'll come All back your for hard work. It's okay. If you notice at the top left, there's the 14 out of 20 with the, like, unhappy looking face. Ooh, fire. Uh, so if you notice it says like 13 out of 20, that means there are only 13 people, 12 people left in the house. So even though they're coming up to the attic, I'm really just chasing them out of the top floors and then they're booking it for the bottom and leaving eventually. And, oh, it's a barometer. This is not a clock, this is a barometer. You let me wrong. Oh, okay. Well, it has a clock face, but yes, it oh, does have that the... that lady just leaped out of a window. What? Ooh. I, I just saw did, a lady leap out of the window. Did That's, she... She might have killed herself. Just saying. Anyway, before we chase everybody out of the house, let's possess other things. Dinos! Slide! Oh. That dude is pretty chill about me being on top of the dinosaur he's standing on. Come on, chomp, chomp. <gasps> you actually killed him! <laughs> well then! His ghost left and everything. That was not an intended side effect. Oh, puppy. Poochie. Ooh. Don't kill Poochie. I'll just rattle. See if I can... I don't think I don't think I would kill the dog. Nah. Even, even if the I dog like, did rattle. Innocent. Hello. What's down here? The rats are freaked out by my presence. Oh. They're smart. Ooh, bubble, 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 bubble. Oh, wait. Hold on. I, I don't know how I didn't notice this thing. Spooky. <laughs> Get out of my basement. Get off my lawn. This is my place. But the UFO ship. Oh. How did how am I not noticing the cool things? What can I do? Spin. Ooh. Open. Open? <laughs> That's really adorable. I, I have to give this props. All of the like different objects. I mean some of them are kind of normal like rattle. Oh, lady. She's petrified. Yeah, she's petrified. But she ain't gonna do anything. There you go. There we go. Get on my museum. My museum. A museum atmosphere. Sinister. Woo! 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 Ooh, dino egg. I'm gonna it's have to too mess bad no one was in the room to witness your dinosaur chomp. Yeah, that would have been actually kind of interesting. Ooh. Oh, that's adorable. The little T Rex. Yeah, the little T Rex is bark. screaming. Here, slide. Oh, wait, no, we know what that does. Play, wag. Okay. Dino egg, that's what I was gonna go for. Burst! Yeah. Hatch. Ooh, good. Oh. A little bit of an issue there. See, I think. I, I kinda wanna just see if I can clear out an entire house to see what happens. Oh, hello. Oh, hey. Surprise! That's interesting. Yeah, certain objects, uh, like lighter objects, can float. So, you can actually, like, scoot all over the place <laughs> with them. I'm gonna leave that one. I guess things can fall through the floor. Oh, it can be a zebra. Oh, that's cute. Bubble. I still find it hilarious that, what? you know, the mummy is actually... What? Hey, at this point, I'm just messing around to see, like, what cool things there are. Look. Uh... Exploding kookaburras. Sweet! Sup, kid? Oh, no. That'd actually be really Apparently freaky I can't go back down. taxidermied animals come back. Especially the ones from that one museum you always tell me about. Oh, yeah. They're, like, half misshapen and decayed. The Harvard uh, Natural History Museum, I believe it is. That place is kind of terrible. Like, the most pristine and okay. beautiful taxidermied animals we've ever gone. seen were at the Smithsonian, probably. Yeah. Well, of course the Smithsonian would be, like, well done. Mm-hmm. You can't have, like, a Smithsonian museum 
that's terrible. That would be a travesty of sorts. Sup, dude? Death. Death comes. Can... No, the question is, can you actually get him? Because that'd I be a little much. I don't think so. No, you can't. Not with this one. I guess the only one where I can actually get a dude... What the... <laughs> Poke, 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 poke. Yeah, the only time I think I can actually kill a person is by, uh... Chomp. Bunch. Nope, that's useless. I was hoping I could... Oh, I can! Wait. Uh, different parts Dance. of the body. Dance! Look at my fabulousness. Do, do, do the do. boogie. Boogie woogie. Come on! Okay. You only have I'm to trying to leave. on the lower level. I'm, I'm trying to leave. Rattle. Wait. Wait! Yeah, that's, that's a little better. Yeah, I was afraid it would kill the puppy, though, which is why I was trying to avoid it. Go, go down, dude. Ooh. Leave my house. Leave <laughs> like my eyes. house. <laughs> I'm working out here, man. Look. Look, seriously. I, ne I need help. <laughs> I need, like, glasses or some shit. What? No, a kid ran upstairs. And he went, like, all the way upstairs. Drummers! Drum dum. Yeah. That's right. I, I like how the ghost face is like not on the face. Yeah. It's pretty it's pretty perfect. But there's a contented kid upstairs. What's up? Yep. That won't last long. Spinny. What? Like, no, and the screaming kid's coming upstairs too. Yeah, he'll leave eventually. Museum atmosphere. Terrifying. I love the face that you've got for the terrifying atmosphere. Uh. Ah! Like, that'd be hilarious if you could mouse over it somehow, and it's just, like, the worst. Now, oh, also, will people come back into this museum after you've scared everyone out, or no? I don't think so. I hope not, at least. It, it is interesting that certain objects, like the more basic ones, only have a couple of actions available to them. So, like, yeah. uh, the vases could only do a couple of things, whereas, like, this guy can do a whole host of them. Is there anything else that... What's this do? Oh, that's, Ooh, let spirits that's nice. out. Actually, it almost reminds me. Hey, that is the Ark of the Covenant, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. It's like an urn that goes puff. There are only two people left. Where are they? Those are rats. I think they're making their oh, escape. Oh, yeah, they're making their escape. Because it says one, and I don't see them. So they must be leaving, probably. I'll just assume they've left at this point, and we'll move on to the next location, and maybe... Well, is it done done? I don't know. Maybe maybe if I go back in, it'll show me where that person is. Unless they're like... Unless the... it's Tootin Common. Oh, that would make sense. Oh. Oh, that's adorable. Well, if it is Tootin Common, I'm not entirely no, sure how to can't scare him deal out. with Tootin Common. Because I've... So... There, how do you know that there's one person? Yeah, one person. That's weird. Huh? Well, oh well. Uh, that's good enough. I've pretty much shown off this entire location. And I'm just gonna take a look at the other ones, just to see. This looks to be closer... Maybe? No. No, this is like is the this a hospital. hospital. Yeah. yeah. I, I wanna go figure out if they have a location that resembles the original one at all. Or no, not really. Yeah, this one kinda looks like it. Kinda. Looks like no. a theater. Yeah, yeah, it's a theater. What's the last one? The docks? But each has, you know, a whole host of... I guess it's a oh. boat. Uh, boat. Uh, boat. English. Why? Uh, ooh, hello. Uh-oh, uh, that guy's drinking off the prow. Look. Look. Being a sailor is a hard job. <laughs> I is not happy. Move the table and he just can't cut his stuff anymore. Okay, that's not working. So... That chef man does not want to leave. Wait, can I steal his pie? Nope, can't steal his pie. Guess I'll come back for him. Can I do this, though? Fins! Mermaid. Yeah. Unfortunately, your, like, haunting EXP does not cross over from area to area, which is a bit frustrating. But I guess it kind of makes sense, because it does force you to be, you know, effective. Or, not effective, but, like, force you to actually discover things. The phone! Phone call. It's the president. He wants to tell you something. The wheel. You're gonna ignore the president. Open the wheel. <laughs> you can just steer the boat off. Ah. Ah, just rattling it. Wait, blast. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Ooh. 
This the uh, animation does not loop right there. No. That's disappointing. But I mean, I'll I'll be quite honest. I'm pretty impressed with like how most of the things work here. Okay, let's try out some of the other places. Unless you're. No, I'm not committed to anywhere. But the boat definitely does seem to be the weaker of all of the mu the museum was a lot of fun. Yeah, okay, so this is another guy that you get to murder once you fill up the meter. Uh. Now, I'm noticing as far as haunting experience that there's no, like, there's no diminishing return. So if you really want to just max it out, you just pick a prop. Oh, the sword that's in the uh, table. Oh, hey, maybe that's how you murder the guy. Dagger! No. Nah. Nope. Spring! Nope. And for some reason, the table bleeds. But yeah, if you want to maximize your... What? Haunting e EXP, you find an object in front of as many people as possible and proceed to start wiggling with it. Trombone. Ooh. <laughs> Bats. Ooh, Ugh. sludge. Ew. Actually, in a lot of horror films, yeah, just making stuff ooze random materials is a To be fair, good if like illusion. anything started oozing around me, I'd probably get a little weirded out. Like imagine <laughs> if our ceiling started oozing. Haunted well, or no, it, I would flip out. It reminds out. me of the shiny. Wouldn't things randomly uh out blood. Blood and, uh... Well, there's really just that one water. torrent of blood, I think. That kid down there is the just totally... The water that would come out beneath the doors. Do you see that kid down there next to the screaming woman? He's, like, He's just totally cool with us right now. Are all... He's like, I like haunted things. Shake. Oh, he doesn't like that, though. I guess smaller objects freak him out. I think that's a good example of this place. Let's go back to the hospital and I think end the re review, because at this point we're just, like, wiggling at people. <laughs> but it does look like so that's uh, all the game is, really. Yeah, yeah. But are there any levels past these few? Or no? I don't think so. From what I've heard, I think the game is already out on certain platforms, but it's coming out on Steam, uh, June sixth, which I guess will be the day I put this video out. So, is there any replayability records to to I, break anything? I don't think so. I know there are achievements. Wait, <laughs> she's pretty chill with things too, so she must be another person that. You have to, like, kill off to... Come on, uh, the electric view. thing that's over there on that side. I... this? Yeah. It's nothing yet. I have to get more scare points before I can actually use it effectively. So, it's easier to find spots like this in front of a large group of people and max out my scary EXP before they all leave. Because notice how fast the meter is going? Yeah. In comparison? So, it's easiest if I do something like this. And there's a, a number of people... Ah, that kind of is enough. Me. The evil doll. Possess that. Oh yeah, Evil Ball is great. But uh, from what I've heard, it's only the five stages and then technically the clock tower and nothing else. Maybe it has something to do with the like single person left, but I don't think there's going to be too much. Hello, that... cadaver. Ooh, oh well, that's disappointing. I was hoping it would sit up or something. Maybe that's one of the later stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, admittedly the game is, what, $5? So even if you get get it on sale, you're going to get at least, like, an hour or two of entertainment out of this. So even though it may be a little short, it does have enough charm that I'd say it's kind of worth it-ish. <laughs> mainly, mainly because it's like, yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of fun to see what all of these things do. Because there's a surprising amount. It'd be nice if the props were randomly generated, but I don't think so. Oh, well, that's cool. I'm still wondering what that so, one person in the museum is. I bet it's the guy inside the Tutankhamun thing. Really? Yeah, like, maybe each map has like one person that you have to come back for as like a final challenge of spooking or something like that and maybe they're another paranormal creature or it could be a bug i have no idea i have no confirmation on whether or not it's one thing or the other uh, as far as like the art goes it's i mean it's simple but it makes me think of um double fine you know like psychonauts and i guess you haven't seen stacking but it definitely has that, like, vibe of it. Hello. I'm just going to wait for all of these people and then gloop. Ooh. Ew. That's disturbing. Spooky. No. All of them run into the other room. Well, apparently that was too much spook for them. Ooh. Yeah. So, like, art, art goes, it's super simple, but I kind of like how simple it is. I'm a little disappointed. Oh, two people just committed suicide. What? Yeah, they leaped out the windows. Did you see, uh ghosts come after them? No. Maybe maybe leaping out the windows is not... Not fatal. Sweet. You want an x-ray? I'll tell you how many bones you got. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm disappointed that it's not 
uh, 16.9. Like, if you notice, you can see that girl leaving on the black borders of the screen on the right side. Mm -hmm. It's because they're given priority over the corners, which is kind of confusing. And there's no setting I can change this. Like, this is 16.9, but the game is not programmed properly to, like, show it off. So you get some, like, weird errors. Like, if you see on the left side, now, was got some, like, holes ghost showing a clown up. or something? I don't know. It does have the frill. Quack. 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 Oh, that's cute. Making noises that shouldn't. How are the sound effects, considering I can't hear them in the slightest? Uh, it's really it's cute. It's still not... Yeah. Like, I, I think that's the easiest example out of all of this. Like, it's really cute. If you want the experience without the money, go play the Congregate version or the Armor Games version. It's going to be about as good. Just uh, much shorter what were and the much levels less replayable. It's just a house. Like, that's all it is. There's nothing else in that game. Apparently, I can get some more spooking in here. Maybe this Wheelchair. Oh, there she's starting to get. The problem is, there are only a couple of people left in this house, and they're all in the room that I don't want to do anything in. Oh, it's the dude. Surprise! Ooh. Break. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like that. It. Uh, I guess the most comparable game I could come up with would actually be... Well, you're at the sinister level. Scribble Knots. Yeah, so I think I think we can murder the lady now. I am assuming. Shock. There we go. Oh. She's dead. They didn't even care. Yeah, they didn't even react to a murder that just immediately happened in their place. However, it did push up the hospital atmosphere straight up to terrifying. Well, when a death occurs, yeah. It's true. I like that, like, if I put my ghost over it, it will actually preview what abilities it has. And I assume the higher up on the red bar it is, the... Whoa. Mm. That's cool. Uh, I, I assume the higher it up, up it is, the more powerful of a spook it is. Get, get out of this room. There's nothing good and spooky in here. Go. Go. Just shoot. <laughs> and she's the last person in here, so I guess this is a good place. Because we've murdered two people... And then all we have left is... Oh, hey! Make her jump out the window! Spooky! Oh, nah, she didn't. That's disappointing. Spooky! But yeah, it, this reminds me a lot of Psychonauts with the whole, like, you find ways to solve puzzles, usually using the environment somehow. Although, admittedly, you can't really add anything to the environment, but I still think it's cool. She's becoming less terrified! Get, just, just... I... Mm. <laughs> Gloop! Apparently she's just afraid of, like, fluids. Or puppies. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure. I'm going to say it's the puppy doing all the scaring and not me. Rattle. She does not want to leave, though. Which is kind of frustrating. But yeah. Uh, overall, I'd say this is probably worth five bucks. Considering that's, I think, the baseline price tag. If not, it's probably worth getting it on sale. It's not going to last you more than, like, an hour or two. This has been uh, the Waterbots trying out Haunt the House. It's fun. It's simple. I'm kind of curious if there's like an end game, or I'm also curious on how to get that person out of there. But oh well. Now this is the clock tower, and oh, see this painting here? Mhm. Mm these are the people that you have to kill. So that was the maid with the electrical stick. That was a clown now, we made slip. Now, is there any slip. significance to these people? Were they the ones that killed you? Or... I have no idea. But they also sit around bells, so maybe there's, like, some extra level of, like, endgame. But if you notice, each of these spirits haunts around a bell. Oh. Did you become one of the other ones? I became this ghost. Do they have different effects? Maybe. Here, let's go over to the theater. I, I just want to check this out. Because that would be pretty boss. Uh, does not look like it. No, so it's all the same stuff? Yeah, it's the same stuff. You just get, like, a different face that shows up on things. Is that, like, an owl or something? I don't know. But, yeah, it seems like there's something a little bit significant about having all of the bells. But we're not going to be covering that in this review because that would be major spoilers. So, mm -hmm. I think this is a great place to end the review while we're sitting here in the clock tower. Might as well just, like, ghost off. Go as... back to the original ghost. There we go. Yay. Yay. The original ghost is clearly the best best ghost but yeah mm -hmm. it's fun it's simple it's cute i have to say like all of the things you can do are just absolutely adorable also murder is that the phantom yes i just have to figure out how to murder him spook that's not it one of these is going to last there we go what killed him so 
Apart from being a spooky simula simulator, this also involves the most adorable murders I have ever bared witness to. So now we have, what, all but four ghosts? Mm -hmm. Which is cool. Anyway, so yeah, worth $5 probably, especially if you like stuff like Scribble Knots. It's not really a puzzle platformer, I guess it's just kind of a puzzle game slash like sit on an object and rattle it until they leave the room game, <laughs> which is not a genre, but still. The music is appropriate, I'm assuming the sound effects are okay. And yeah, I don't know, not much else to say about this <laughs> game, really. I'm just wiggle the mermaid and freak me by it. That actually looks like the nurse. You know, the pigtails? Oh, an interesting question. But, yeah, honestly, most of the characters look exactly like each other. Add pigtails, and of course it's going to look like the nurse. I've just never seen a mermaid with pigtails. I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not exactly an expert in mermaids or mermaid fashion. Especially because I don't go around clasping uh, seashells to my naked chest. <laughs> so have you done coconuts? <laughs> and on that note, uh, thanks for watching this Indian Impressions video. It's not exactly as much of a review and more of a let's play in this one, just because it's like, well, let's figure out how the game works. And the answer is just sit here and mash buttons until people get freaked out and leave. So. If you enjoy if you enjoyed this review at all, uh, you know, drop us a like. If you want to discuss anything, uh, leave a comment below. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe because we're going to be doing a heck of a lot more. And uh, if you want to support the developer, go pick up the game. And if you just want to play the game, go play the Armor Games version. I'm sure you get some amount of uh, income from advertising there. Slash. Ooh, oh, that's not slash. It's mm -hmm. like splash. That's disappointing. Let's go murder a guy. Oh. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.